up, Whitey Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's hashtag anime nerdigan review is going to be for Attack on Titan Season 2, Episode 5, also known as Episode 30, titled Historia. And before I get to today's review, I'm sorry, I'm dealing with allergies, so you're going to have to deal with this. Um, there's a couple of things I want I need to do. First, I need to mention that the review for next week's episode might be a little late, um, depending on uh, what's going on um, in New Jersey, because that's uh, where I'm going to be for my uncle's wedding. So be prepared for a delay for that. And then I also just need to um, mention, of course, how I do these reviews because they're just a little bit different than your average anime tuber. Because this is supposed to be a manga ad anime adaptation. And I have the, while I'm watching the anime, I have the corresponding manga chapter expecting it to be a manga to anime adaptation. Now the bar has been raised extremely high because I just watched My Hero Academia and that shit was practically perfect. There was almost like nothing I could criticize for it. Um, yes, there was stuff that I still criticized anyway, but yes, it, it's like completely perfect. So the bar's already raised high for that reason. And also something that you nerdigans need to understand is that I kept having everyone tell me that this anime is so fucking good that the bar's already raised on top of that. So you, I just want to make sure you nerdigans understand that. But anyway, because this is supposed to be a manga anime adaptation, I expect it to, you know, be one and match the manga. If it doesn't match the manga, whether the panel for panel, whether it's skip scenes, skip dialogue, whatever, I'll basically call that shit out with the exception of word changes, unless the word, unless the wording is really pissing me off, and also if the di context of the dialogue in the anime is different from what the manga intended. Anyway, let's get to this review. So... I'm glad that we're not just going straight into the Amir stuff because I know I forgot to mention at the end of uh, the review last week about Amir's transformation, which was fucking badass, by the way. I'm glad that we get to see the memory of, you know, Krista and um, Amir on the mountain. I really like that, that how it was set up, too, even though it was with filler. I really like how, you know, it was set up that everyone was at the base except for um, Krista, um, Amir, and... Um, and Daz, I thought that was great. And then we go into the actual, you know, scene. And um, the um, the thing that bothered me here, or that has, that was, the first thing that bothered me I, uh, that I noticed was, and this is looking at my notes, is when she, um, when Krista said you forgot one, and this is about the choices, I wish she would, if you, she would have said you forgot the third choice. And I wish that would have been, like, because at least the third choice should have been mentioned there. That would have been a lot better for dialogue-wise, for me anyway. So this part of the scene was kind of skit. And I'm going to read this for you. Hey, what are you doing, hmm? You'll die if you don't go, right? Hurry up and go uh, go on ahead. And then it goes to the wa. Like, Krista isn't, Krista's supposed to be kind, a kind of fight back. She's supposed to have a little spunk to her i'm kind of like yeah you know she was rebelled with the third option but she was supposed to you know tell off a mirror and it's supposed to be adorable when she does it and she didn't but i gotta say for the most part like it, it is pretty much panel for panel it's just some just skip dialogue really fucking sucks and um and also hold on let me just double check and make sure i put this in my notes right um, Amir, it looked like in the anime, Amir was standing next to Krista. Amir's supposed to be walking behind, um, Daz's body. So I'm kind of just like, huh? What, what, what are you doing, anime? <laughs> okay, so this part of the dialogue was skipped. And that's kind of annoying as shit. Because uh, Attack on Titan, come on. You, you, come on, you're supposed to be a manga to anime adaptation. It's pissing me off. Um, this was skipped from Amir's dialogue. Your body's, uh, like a little kid's. Uh, you know I've got a better chance. Can't you see it'd be faster for me to pull him? And, like, but I gotta say, though. Remember how I said I'd like it if it matched panel for panel? Oh, boy, the animation for how it's matching the panels is, or the frames, I should say, how it's matching the panels is beautiful, especially when we look into Krista's eyes and shit, and she's looking at Amir. Oh, my freaking God. But... The thing is, is with the dialogue that Amir gives about, you know, um, Chris's plan, uh, plan um, saving Daz, it's not supposed to be a statement. It's supposed to be a question. It's supposed, this is what the dialogue in the manga is. Your plan isn't about saving Daz at all, is it? Like, come on. That, that's when I get mad. Because it's like, come on. But, like, I gotta say, 
even though the dialogue is getting a little screwy, the way that it feels like it, it's it's somewhat feeling like that the manga's coming to life a little bit, but it's not the same way as it for me anyway. Uh, thus far, that like My Hero Academia or Berserk, because oh man, it gave me those two, especially um, My Hero Academia, gave me goosebumps this week. Berserk, it, uh, My Hero Academia always does that, but Berserk, Berserk, go watch Berserk this week and read the and watch it with the manga. Like, yes, there's skip stuff, but the stuff that it matches is so goddamn perfect. But, yeah, Attack on Titan, you are matching pretty nicely, but um, you're skipping dialogue that's pretty annoying. Oh, and the first part of, um, and this is part of Demir's dialogue, or not, Demir, why did I say that? Of, of Amir's dialogue was skipped as well, which is, you just said that I would die, but the, uh, so you must realize that you're going to die at this rate too? That part was there, but the first part wasn't. Okay, so this dialogue here got really, really fucked up. Um, some of it was completely skipped, and some of it was supposed to be a question, and it was a statement. So I gotta read this. Um, everything was... Oh, wait. This part was skipped. Um, up to... This starts a... a everything up to... Uh, you were thinking of dying here like this, weren't you? That was there. It was reworded differently in the anime, but that was there. But right wasn't uh what was skipped in this part too and you wanted to entrust entrust unto me the legend of krista the goddess or am i just overthinking this or am i oh sorry or, or um am i just overthinking uh, overthinking this um this is wrong you're a good girl krista was there and the you've got to at least pretend to be interested in saving this man enough and saving this man um was there uh enough to ask me for help wasn't there right and, um, and this was the part that really got messed up for me. I'm just, uh, was, uh, dragging someone else to his death just for that. Only a Batgirl would do that, right? Like, that part got really messed up. I don't understand how it did, but you made it a statement instead of a question. And you didn't, like, do, like, Amir. And the thing that bothered me the most about it is that Amir's supposed to be teasing Krista. And you don't get that feeling of teasing from her when it's not, like, with the question, with the questions like this. That, that's why I'm kind of getting annoyed. <laughs> I gotta say, the flashback within the flashback was pretty much perfect, with the exception of one thing, the positioning of Amir. Amir's supposed to be, like, in this box kind of thing, or, like, a cabinet or something, and, um, and she's supposed to have her hand like this. Her hand's supposed to be flat, right? It's supposed to be against, like this, and the, you can't, I know you can't see it, because whatever. It's supposed to be like this, and then she's supposed to have one knee up, like that, and her arm like this. That was the only thing that was wrong, was just the positioning. Everything else in the flashback within the flashback was well done. Good job, anime. You could have really fucked this up, but the only thing you fucked up was Amir's positioning. And I did like that we got to see her sneak around um, the church. I thought that was cool. This part was really screwed up, too. It was supposed to be, don't worry, I haven't told anyone and I won't sell the information. That was, where was the sell information? That shit wasn't there. For starters, was skipped. And I gotta say, this whole conversation, like, it's, I really am starting to feel like the manga is coming to life. This is what I wanted to tack on Titan. Like, the fact that, yeah, even though the dot, the wording is really fucked up, it, you, you jacked up some of the wording here and it's really bugging the fuck out of me. But... The fact that you are matching it frame for frame, is um, panel for panel, the way you're doing it, anime, is just so freaking beautiful, and I love it. This is what I want. At least the context means the same thing. I'm gonna give you that. The context means the same thing, or it's what the manga tended, so that's why I'm not gonna bitch too much. Anime, you were doing so well. Yes, the wording is completely different, and you didn't have a, um, have a mirror be like, I'm a mirror, hear me roar kind of thing going on, but, um, uh, it, this is what it was supposed to be, what Amir said, like about, she said in the anime, they both got a new chance of life. This is what she said in the manga. She said, I happened to get a chance to live a whole new life. I was reborn as a new person. I wish that would have been in there instead of this bullshit that the anime dialogue gave us. Because 
that is a huge that is a huge difference because she was reborn for her second chance of life um but the other thing that was skipped and i'm going to say this right now is i'm going to be living proof that your fate isn't decided at birth but i gotta say anime is matching frame for frame um panel for panel and it is nice even if the dialogue is jacked up it is matching and it is that is what uh, makes me happy right now Okay, this dialogue got really, really screwy. I understand, first of all, that last portion was supposed, um, uh, that Amir says before Krista responds, is supposed to be a fucking question, not a statement. Um, but I want to mention this part of the dialogue that, um, was there for the most part, but part of it was, like, kind of cut. Um, you're going to kill yourself, the ultimate act of submission. I wish it was written like that, instead of, like, simplified. Because... I don't know. It just would have been nice. This is—is is that how much you want to please the people who treated you like a nuisance? Yes, it was rewritten differently, but it was there. But I just really liked how the manga had it. But um, this is the part that really got fucked up. Why are you trying to hurt yourself if your will is that strong? And this part was there for the most part. This is the part that this next sentence here, uh, or this part of the dialogue, was written was said as a statement. Should have been a question. Then shouldn't you be able to change your fate? Like. I know I'm being very nitpicky right now, but because I can't give shit for it not matching frame for frame and panel for panel, I'm going to go be hard on the dialogue because Attack on Titan is really getting good this episode. I am loving it. What? And that light was skipped. Just wanted to point that out. I want to point out like the scene like after, you know, when Amir basically knocked Krista out, that piano music is so nice i really like it and then we get a little bit of filler because of course we need to see aaron and armin and mikasa as well and i do like that they're showing this that there is you know that they're at least trying to find them with the search party because that's not really shown in the manga so i kind of like this and the other thing i like about this filler in particular is that we get to see amir bring daz to the camp because we didn't get to see that in the manga as well. So I'm really glad we got to see that too. So this is when filler works. <laughs> Sometimes filler doesn't work, but in this case it does. By the way, Amir's hood is supposed to be on until um, up to um, when they go in to see Daz. They actually go in to see him. They're not looking at him from the window. They're actually going to see Daz. So, yeah, um, so much for matching panel for panel, uh, frame for frame attack on Titan. You, you were doing so well. What the shit? Damn it. The rest of the flashback, for the most part, let me just double check and make sure. Um, the rest of the flashback, for the most part, was perfect. Uh, the problem I just had was, you know, the positioning, I, I, I should say. Because, again, they were supposed to look inside and then um, go walk out. But I I got to say this right now. I love the transition back to modern day when Amir becomes, with Amir becoming the Titan. I fucking love it. It's so perfect. This is what I wanted and more in regards to the transitioning. But I'm really glad that, because uh, I said at the end of the last video, I was hoping that they weren't going to completely skip uh, this whole thing about them in the mountains um and just put it in the next episode because they were running out of time and just show Amir transforming I'm glad they went that route that worked out so much better it's so it worked really 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 well because otherwise you're getting rid of some characterization between uh Krista and um Amir so I'm glad they did they put this save this content for this episode and not tried to force it in last episode and I'm curious if you nerdigans feel that way or not when Amir transformed it was just about perfect but if you left out the last line of the inner monologue the inner monologue was for the most part there except for one line which was um uh which was, I wish so hard, but it was matching panel for panel, frame for frame. It was so freaking perfect. I love it. I love it. I love how Amir transformed. The sequence is freaking beautiful. I fucking love it. The rest of chapter uh, 40, perfect. Chapter 40 was fucking perfect perfect the rest of it from this episode the only problem i had 
uh, again, I'm going to just briefly mention it, is um, I really just did not like some of the word changes kind of bothered me. And then, yes, there was some skips in the dialogue. But for the, then, yes, we did have filler. But for the most part, the part that, of chapter 40 that was adapted was so freaking nice. It felt like it was coming to life. It's so freaking amazing. This is what I've been waiting for. It really has. So now we're going into chapter 41. And luckily, the way with cha how chapter 40 ended, it's, a really easy transition into uh, the chapter 41 adaptation. It's just a mere keeping uh, keeping up the fight because it because um, it basically ended with uh, the line. Um, the, it's the same time from that day. But now we're getting to the chapter 41 adaptation. Let's see if if chapter 41 can exceed my expectations and surprise me. So first of all, I'm going to be a little bit nitpicky here. Um, hold on, let me just uh, first. Uh... No, okay. Um, when, you know, Chris is in denial about um, Amir being the Titan, that shit was perfect even with the flashback. I was down with that. Um, but it says here, it says in the anime, uh, Rainer said that, sh that Amir knew some of the greatest secrets of the world, or secrets in the world. It's supposed to be uh, one of the greatest, but whatever. Also, this part was completely skipped. She um, should have told us and contributed to the corpse like Aaron, but maybe she didn't because she couldn't? Um, that w was completely skipped, and it just went straight into Connie's line. This part was also skipped from Connie's dialogue, which is she was uh, completely skipped as well. And because this was, um, like, there's this uh, part in Chapter 41 where Krista, you know, um, there's this, uh, where uh, Krista, like, has, like, a flashback kind of thing, and it's this with the mirror. Um, but Krista, don't worry, I'm here entirely for my own sake. But you have to promise me when I re reveal my secret, you'll go back to living by your old name. That was skipped, but I understand why, like, at least part of it wasn't there. Um, was because it was shown earlier in the episode, but I kind of feel like it should have at least still been shown there. But, like, the fight, I gotta say, with Amir's fight is fucking awesome. It is perfectly animated. It matches the manga frame, just about, like, frame for frame, panel for panel. It is fucking perfect. I love the fight. It is so goddamn good. And it wasn't about causing the tower to fall. It was about damaging the tower is what Connie was supposed to say but whatever it it's everything is so freaking nice like I, I love that I can just actually enjoy watching an episode of Attack on Titan and not like want to like want to like um, throw something at my screen like I really can enjoy this episode it's really nice not as much as like My Hero Academia or um to an extent Berserk but this episode man whoo Attack on Titan anime, you are raising the bar for yourself right now. Uh, I really can't wait to get to... Uh, I got a feeling Chapter 80 is going to be in Season 3. But you, you nerdigans know what chapter I'm talking about. The one with my baby. The one with my baby. My Arvid. Oh my god. If they... I'm telling you, if this anime ruins that, I'm going to be pissed. But I really like what they're doing with Krista and Emir here. This is so done so nicely. We have some parts to get again. Which was, um, huh? Things don't look good. Rainer saying, um, hold on a second. Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, Connie says, huh? And then Rainer says, things don't look good for her. And then it's supposed to be, why at this rate she'll, Amir, Amir, don't die, don't die here. And that scene right there is fucking perfect, by the way. That when Krista stands up and tells Amir not to die. It's good. I love it. This is what, I feel like this is the episode I have been waiting for. For Attack on Titan. This is a, this is how I feel like this is becoming a manga to anime adaptation. I feel like it's coming to life and it's really, really nice. Okay, when Chris is yelling at Amir, like part of the dialogue really got messed up. This is what it was supposed to be. Um, why are you trying to act like a saint? Um, you really want to look cool as you die that much, you jerk. Some of it was changed to statements. Um, we both know you're rotten to the core. Are you such a moron you think you could still get into heaven? Like, some of it was there. I'm not going to lie. Some of it was there. I'm just going to bitch about the wording because that's what I can bitch about. Because otherwise the scene is really, really perfect. 
Um, it's just the wording just fucking sucks. I hated how, ugh, I really hated the wording in this episode for this, for this part of the dialogue. It really sucked. Anime, stop doing this. But, but everything else was there. Like the, like the live for your own sake and protecting this tower is going to kill you. Then just smash it to pieces. That was fucking perfect. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like I, uh, just, I have to ask, like, what is going on with this script? It, it, Attack on Titan anime. That's the only thing I have to question is the script right now because everything else is so goddamn beautiful. So I can't hate the animators and I can't hate I can't hate the studio or anything else unless uh, except for the script writers. The script writers, yeah, you kind of need to fix your shit here unless you, unless um your your nerd against translations are different or slash subtitles are different than mine, but. Anyway, the, like, this is just so goddamn nice otherwise. Just this dialogue. Ah. It's supposed to be a question, not a statement about if Amir's smashing it, actually smashing the tower down. It's supposed to be, hey, is she actually smashing it? Um, but Chris is kicking ass. Oh, Chris looks so good. Say, that's it, Amir. But this, this fight scene, this whole thing with Amir fighting the Titans is just so well done. This is what I want from my Attack on Titan anime. Even though it was reworded differently, they made it a question instead of a statement. I really wish it would have been, uh, grab on to live. I really wish it, um, uh, instead it was like, uh, want to live? Grab on. Like, I, uh, I know I'm being anal at this point, but that's the only thing I can really criticize right now is just the wording. It's just so fucking annoying, but... Like, this is just so fucking perfect. Like, oh, this manga is finally coming to life. It's coming to life. Oh, it's making me so happy right now. And this part of the dialogue was completely skipped, which was, um, where the fuck was it? Here it is. I can't believe it. You wanted to pin those Titans under the tower? Talk about a crazy plan. You, that was skipped. That, I think that's just this anime's problem. It's just dialogue. Just fucking... Oh, God. Someone just get a new script writer, please, for this anime. Because <laughs> otherwise, this is so goddamn perfect. It makes me happy. Why couldn't you just finish the sentence with the mirrors being eaten alive, which is fucking up disturbing and gross and awesomely animated? Is it too much to ask to have the dialogue be, like... A, Correct? Is it too much? I'm just starting to think it's getting too much to ask of you this point, Attack on Titan, because I really love you and I love watching you right now. But duh, just duh. the slow motion was fucking cool, even though haven't was uh, it was supposed to be wait I still haven't and and shit, but I, I, I no I still can't give it a pass for skipping haven't. But that slow motion and when Mikasa came in and whooped that Titan's ass. Oh man, and I did like getting to see a mere space inside the Titan because, um, let me just double check um, the manga right here. You didn't get to see that in the manga. You didn't get to see what a mirror's a mirror in the side. Oh no, you did. I'm sorry. You did get to see a mirror inside the Titan. So I'm glad that they included that because they could have, like, Attack on Titan the anime could have just skipped the scene, the panel with the mirror. Um, you know, you know, being inside the Titan. I really, really like that they put that in there. It's so nice. But, oh, when Mikasa saved the day. Holy fucking shit, Mikasa looks so goddamn badass. It, it's you. Why are you, why are, like, this was from, from Connie when Mikasa entered the scene. Was completely skipped. But, again, I, I, I can't complain, like, the, it's just the, the freaking dialogue is just really pissing me off right now. But the fact that the animation or the anime is really matching frame for frame, panel for panel right now, like, or throughout this whole episode, it really has. It really makes me enjoy this episode. And it's, I gotta say, this episode is definitely by far my favorite episode from what we've seen of season two so far. I really, really like it. And it's giving me hope for, um... For the rest of the anime. I'm really excited for the rest of the season right now. Aaron's first kill was so perfect. Oh my god, I love Aaron's first kill. It was amazing. The rest of this episode was fucking perfect. Now this is what I want from you, Attack on Titan. You need to do this every week. Like, if you're gonna attack like two chat, like it was... 
one and a half chapters they adapted. Can we get this every week, please? Like, I love the little fillers you put in with the extra killings and shit. It was so cool. And the music at the end when, when Krista told Amir her real name. Oh my god, it was so perfect. This this episode, the dialogue's the only thing from, for me, uh, preventing me from saying that this episode was fucking perfect. Like, this, it was so freaking nice this is this is the best of uh, this is the best episode of this season i'm definitely gonna tell say it right now this is my favorite episode of this season of attack on titan i really liked how it was well done i'm glad they did them again i'm gonna say it again i'm glad they did the memory of um from uh uh Look at it, Krista and Amir the way they did. I I like it. I like the little extra filler parts in there. There was some details that were kind of screwy in there, and yes, dialogue. But um, chapter uh, forty one was it was just about fucking perfect. Like, why can't we get this every week? Attack on Titan anime. I I'm hoping you're going to be doing this for the rest of the season. Please, can we get this for the rest of the season? Like, seriously, I am praying to the anime gods that you give us this the rest of the season. And oh man, let me know what you nerdigans thought of this chapter or not this chapter. Fuck, uh, of this anime. This episode is of this anime. This is definitely my favorite. Yes, there was problems with the dialogue, but every minus the dialogue. And a few little minor details like placements. This episode was fucking perfect. And I really love it. And I hope we get this next week. I, I hope we get something even, fuck, even better next week. Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdic and Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdic and Zinc expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to the um, Nerdic and Zinc uh, PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdic and Zinc Amazon wishlist. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on... Um, on the Twits, aka Twitter, follow my Twitch channel and friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!